Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Devon Star Wars Limited Edition watch. Uh, this came out um, as a celebration of the new Star Wars films, I think around when The Force Awakens came out. Uh, it was a limited edition of 500 pieces done in collaboration um, with Lucas. So this is an official, uh, <laughs> official Star Wars watch. Uh, Devin is an American watchmaker that doesn't make mechanical watches, um, but has a series of interesting motors in here that move these treads um, in order to tell the time. So this watch is based on the Tread 1, which I've done a couple of videos of um, that have been quite popular, actually. There's the original Tread 1, there was a Steampunk, um, the brand came out with the Tread 2. This one is actually a lot more expensive than the original uh, Tread 1. Um, I'm not really sure why. I guess it is more complex to produce and there's the whole um, Lucas and, and Disney part of it as well. Um, but it is, like I said, more or less the Tread 1 with different uh, body cladding and some different things like that. This is, the, this is a prototype actually. So the final version might have a little bit of differences, but you know, we just wanted to check one of, the, one of these out because we really like um, these collaborations between um, luxury watch brands and pop culture. So there you can see the, the Star Wars logo on the back. You know, it's really interesting to me because I think <clears throat> when I first started getting to watches in the early 2000s, I never would have believed that there would be this intersection of the pop culture that I grew up with um, and timepieces because mechanical watches, the relationship they had were always with very traditional things like traditional sports, like golf and car racing and, you know, yacht sailing. And sure there was, you know, collaborations with things like James Bond and, and you know, some other pop culture stuff. But, you know, we, we live in the time now where the science fiction movies that I grew up with and the video games I played are starting to have luxury watch collaborations. And it kind of it's kind of crazy. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't surprise me. It really doesn't surprise me. It makes sense. It's trying to latch on to um, nostalgia and, and things that I feel emotional about uh, in multiple ways. I like watches and I like Star Wars and I like cool gadgets and boom, the Devon Star Wars suddenly makes a lot of sense. From a design perspective, you can see that these, uh, these sort of flanks here um, look like the wings of the uh, the the, uh, the Tie Fighter, which is exactly um, a lot of where a lot of the inspiration of this design came came from. So this would definitely be a a, a dark side watch, um, if you want to call it that. Um, there's some interesting color accents, like this red motor here, um, and there's a green one there. And those those aren't colors and things you see um, in the original. It is a big watch. It's 61 millimeters wide, uh, 22 millimeters thick. Um, the battery lasts, I want to say, about two weeks. It's been a while since I've um, worn one of these on a full-time basis. This watch isn't even turned on right now, and I will turn it on for you. So there's a, it's kind of like a joystick-style crown. So you push it, you can turn it off. I'll, I'll turn it back on. That just never gets old. Um, one of the good things about being able to turn it off, I think there's a mode to, to actually turn off the seconds hand or the seconds uh, belt, um, is it's actually kind of a loud watch. I'll just stop talking for a second. So it's definitely a tension getter, which can be a good or a bad thing, depending on where you are. Oh, there we go. I turn the crown, I turn off the seconds hand. Oh, I'm adjusting the time now. This is literally one of the funnest watches um, that I've had in a while uh, or seen in maybe a decade when it comes to doing little things like just changing the time. <laughs> it's just really cool. And then if you want to, you can turn it back off. Boom. And there you have it. That is the Devon uh, Star Wars limited edition watch. Um, it's a big sucker and it's cool. Um, DLC coated black case. Um, all the all the Star Wars inspiration that you could hope for um, in, a, in in a pretty wild watch. Um, the 500 pieces I understood were all sold out, um, and price uh, the re retail price was 
$500 and you can see more in a blog to watch. Thanks.